chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again we have to answer the questions on the basis of this tabular data in this case these are the names of students meera subodh kunal soni richu and these are the subjects english history commerce math science economics and this is the score by the student out of 100 we have not shown out of 100 with this table that is probably a missed here but this means 100 marks out of 100 80 out of 100 50 out of 100 35 out of 100 so on the basis of this information we have to answer the questions what are the total marks obtained by meera in all the subjects meera scores 100 in english history commerce like that we have to add all these marks now if we see the options this can't be the option because when you add all of them you won't get a decimal point and then if we check out the units place 0000 the units place will be 0 so this can't be the answer now the answer is either this this or none now because of this none we will have to basically do the whole addition so let us perform if this none had not been there then we might have skipped total addition possibly checking for the second place we would have already filtered out the answer out of these two so we'll have to add nothing else will help us 100 plus 80 is 180 90 and 90 is 180 so you get 360 360 and 60 will give 420 420 and 50 will give me 470 therefore 470 is the required answer by totaling Four seventy is the answer. Let us move to our next question now. What are the average marks obtained by these seven students in history? We have to look for the column of history, add all of them, divide by seven. Total in history. Eighty plus seventy one fifty plus seventy two twenty plus sixty two eighty plus ninety three seventy plus sixty four thirty plus eighty five hundred ten five hundred ten divided by seven students. When you will perform division, you can see that seven into seven will be forty nine. so the first place will be 7 from the options you can check out only this one is starting with 7 therefore 720.85 is the required answer we haven't calculated any further we simply checked the starting digit and we were uh, we were able to sort out that the answer would be 72.85 This is how we can use shorter techniques to solve such questions. Let us move to the next question now. How many students have got sixty percent or more marks in all the subjects? That is, has Mira got more than sixty percent? Sixty percent would be equivalent to a total of how much? One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six subjects. Total marks. Total marks would be sixty into 
uh, sorry 6 into 100 equal to 600 and 60 percent means total of 360 60 percent into 600 360 we have to find all the students who have scored more than 360 Mira has scored 470 we have already calculated it in the first question so this one 80 plus 80 160 260 340 380 it has already exceeded 360 so this is one take out this one 90 and 90 180 180 and 70 250 310 380 so this one also take this one now 80 80 80 is 240 plus 60 is 300 360 so already exceeded this one also take this one 95 plus 85 180 180 plus 90 270 320 400 I am orally calculating it this one also exceeds 360 take this one 150 these two 220 280 320 384 so this one also 80 and 80 160 210 and then this is 140 210 and 140 is 350 and this one will also exceed so all of them are scoring more than 60 percent so what should be the answer 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 5 6 2 so none of the above is the answer because 7 students they scored more than 360 let us move to the next question now what is the highest overall percentage if we had kept the total marks in the previous question then we would have easily calculated but let us find the topper 100 more than 80 80 more than 70 loss of 30 i am just comparing these i'll find the topper so mira is topper here mira is topper here mira loses 30 but here Mira gained 30, 10 from this, 20 from this, balanced out, Mira loses, Mira loses, Mira loses 10, Mira, lose, uh, Mira loses 10, 20, so they have the same score. Sorry, wait, we'll have to recalculate it, I've just messed up the things. Mira is more by 20, Mira is more by 10, 30 balance out mira loses 10 mira gains 10 mira gains 20 so mira is the topper out of these two compare mira with kunal mira is topper mira is top mira has more mira has 10 less but here it had 10 more and here it still she still exceeds so balance out mira more mira more 20 mira less 10 so still mira is topper these two are not greater than Mira. Just an oral comparison. 160. Mira more. Mira more. Mira 15 less. But here 20 more. So still Mira more. Mira is more. Mira is more. 20 less. Uh, 20 less. But 10 and 10. This one balances. Here she was already exceeding. So this person is also not more. It is all attentive calculation. Nothing else. Mira more than Richu, 10 less but 50 more, greater lead, 12, still leads, leads, leads and 35. So by intuition we can see that this Richa is also not scoring more than Mira. Let us check Mira and Irene, score lead of 40, lead of 20, 60 loss of 14 lead of 20 in any case she is going to greater not much greater so irene is also not more than mira take vijay mira more mira balances 
mira more mira more mira more mira is less but only 15 so vijay is also not the topper mira is the topper we totaled out in the first question that she scored 470 so divide it by 1 2 3 4 5 6 subjects multiply by 100 cancel by 2 Instead of cancelling this 50, I should have retained 100. Cancel this one on 2. 224, 236, 2, 235 by the 3. So 235 by 3 will be divided. 235 by 3, 3, 7, 21. 7, 7 but none. So we will have to calculate it completely. 3, 7, 21, 2, 5. 3, 8, 24, 1, 3, 3. So, this one is the required answer. So, it was already 600 here. So, that is why it is 78.3% which is the required answer. Let us move to our next question now. In which subject is the overall percentage the best? Economics, Maths, History, Science, or none. None of these means none of these four. Let us take up economics 60. Here let us check out who wins. Economics is lesser. It is better to just add all of them. Much better because this grid is a bit going to be complicated. So when you add all of them you get 500 here. 510 for this, 416 for this, 575 for this, 520 for this and 505 for this. We have totaled it like this. So overall percentage in maths is going to be the highest because the total score is highest. And all are to be divided by 7. Since common divisor is there, whichever is greater will have greater percentage also. So therefore, maths is the required answer. We'll close it right